You can't go anywhere online or even look at the news these days without seeing lots of things about artificial intelligence. While the field has been around for decades, there's now a whole bunch of new tools that have made their way into the hands of the public and are being integrated into the kind of software that you use every day. And on one hand, this is really exciting because it brings all sorts of new capabilities to you. On the other hand, there's so many things that are unsettled about this and we don't really know how to handle it. So in this talk, I'm going to focus on the trust that we need to have in artificial intelligence to use it. And that's both trust between the people who are using the tools and the technology, but also trust that the general public would have in an organization that's using these tools. Because there's a lot of ways that it can go wrong. We've seen examples of big financial institutions using artificial intelligence to make decisions about mortgages that end up replicating societal racial biases and sending people into subprime mortgages based on their race, and they end up getting fined from that. We've seen hospital systems using algorithms to determine whether or not people qualify for certain special treatment programs that again reflect societal racial biases and end up sending white people into the program way more than black people, but there are ways to correct that. We've even seen algorithms being used to determine if people, for example, are granted bail or given parole. And like all these other algorithms, they end up reflecting societal biases as well. Now, those are some of the more extreme examples, but there's all kinds of issues of the algorithms just generating things that are wrong, not quite what you want the message to say, and that require a lot of checking. So what I want to go over here are principles of trust in AI that your institution needs to keep in mind in order to use it well. And that's things like data privacy and security, so you don't creep people out with what you're doing with their data. Fairness and non-discrimination. How do you audit these algorithms to make sure that they're not doing things that are biased, especially if you're in a regulated industry? Things like transparency and explainability. So if an artificial intelligence algorithm makes a decision for your business, you can explain why that happened if someone wants to challenge it. And then a really critical component of this is AI literacy support. People need to understand what these tools are capable of and what they're not so they don't make mistakes in using them. We're going to go through lots of examples of how this is already being used, both to see the pitfalls and the amazing benefits that can come with it.